to find internal resistance of a cell using potentiometer. See, this is the potentiometer with wire AB and the connection is a battery, powerful battery is connected and a rheostat and a key and it is connected to A and B. And a cell whose, this is the cell whose EMF to be found. See, this is the cell whose EMF is this one, whose in internal resistance R, we have to find out the internal resistance. So, already we have seen in the cell, when the current is flowing, when the current is flowing, I is flowing, I, I is flowing, I is flowing using KVL, using KVL, using KVL from this end if you come, the current is flowing, this side will be positive, this side will be negative, this side will be positive, this side will be negative, this side is negative, this side is positive of the battery. So when we go from here, the potential is equal to I into the resistance R, I into resistance R, there is the potential drop across this and potential drop across this is equal to positive, positive to negative, I into R minus epsilon naught is equal to zero. This is KVL R. I into what is I into R? I into R V is equal to I into R. The same potential because this and this. At this point what is the potential? Same potential is existing here. That is the same V which is the terminal potential of the battery. What is terminal potential of the battery? The potential available between the two terminals of a cell is called terminal potential or here we can write I into R is equal to V, V plus I into R is equal to, this is the equation. Now let us come here, the cell is connected, positive end of the cell is connected to the end A and negative cell, negative side is connected through a galvanometer and a jockey. A resistance R is connected across this cell. This is the connection. A switch is also connected so that it can be the circuit can be broken. First, first what we'll say first when this is connected, a current steady current will flow in the potentiometer. Then first we keep the key closed. This key closed and yes open. When we keep the K closed and S open. It means this circuit will not come into play. S is open now. So it means now we move the jack. We move, take the jack and move along AB. Say at this point we get the, at this point we get the null deflection. At this point, say this is J1 at this point at a distance, at a distance L1. L1 from the L1 from the end A. So this is the potential difference across this point, across this point, because we obtain the null deflection. It means this and this is balanced. That is A. This is A, and this is J. This is positive side, negative side, and the cell is connected like this, like this. So this is J1, it is of length. It means no deflection in the galvanometer means this potential is equal to this potential. It means when moving the galvanometer and obtaining the position J1 that is point of null deflection, L1 be the length of the wire in balance condition. L1 in balance condition of the galvanometer and K is the potential gradient of the wire AB. Then now in this condition, the EMF of the cell, because S is open, S is open, the EMF of cell is represented by the potential difference between these two points. Why? Because when the cell is open, when the cell is open, cell is open, it means current through this circuit is equal to zero. 
when current through this is equal to zero, I is equal to zero, V is equal to, this becomes zero into R zero, zero. It means when S is open, the terminal potential is equal to EMF of the cell. So this condition we have to remember. So when S is when S is open, S is open and K is closed, the balancing point J L1 gives the EMF of the gives the EMF of the cell. We can write for this what is K into L1. See the potential difference between this point by principle of potentiometer. By principle of potentiometer, we can write what V is equal to potential grade potential difference of any length. Now here potential difference between V into A J1. A J1 is equal to the potential grade into the length L1. V, what is V A J1? V A J1 is equal to potential across this point which is equal to that EMF of this cell. EMF of this cell. So we can say the EM of the cell V A J1 is equal to EM of the cell is equal to K into L1. This is when K is closed and S is open. At this condition, the potential difference, potential difference between this wire is equal to EMF of this battery. The second condition, now let us see in the second condition, the S is now closed. The switch S is closed. S is closed and K is also closed. In this condition what happens? See this is closed. It means by KVL. Again we go for KVL. When we go for the KVL we obtain this relation. That means the terminal potential difference is equal to from this equation E minus I into R. When this is closed again now when after closing this one, we move the jack, we move the jack to get the null point along AB, we move the jack to get the null point. So after closing this one, we move the jack and say this is at J2, which is at a distance of L2, we get the null, null deflection, null deflection. It means at this position, this potential, this potential across this point of length L2 gives the terminal potential of the terminal potential of the cell. Why? When we close this one, when it is closed, when it is closed, the terminal potential, that is this point, the terminal potential V is given this point we have to remember when close S is closed and K is closed, the null deflection in galvanometer by moving the jack to a position J2 gives the terminal potential of this battery E. Okay. The null deflection. when S is closed, A is closed, gives, after moving the jack, after moving the jack to null deflection position, this will show null deflection, this gives the terminal, terminal potential difference of cell terminal potential difference of the cell. That is, we can say, the, that is V between A and J2 is equal to K into L2, which is given the terminal potential difference. That is, we can say, we can say the second equation we can write, V A J2 is equal to K into L2 which is equal to terminal potential that is the terminal potential P and Q terminal potential of the cell. First thing when S is open and K is all the time closed S is open 
the balance point this balance point gives the emf of the battery by which we have derived this equation when s is closed this is the balancing position after moving the jack through along ab this gives the length l2 this potential gives the terminal potential difference of the cell a2 cell with the emf e so we can come v a2 that is terminal potential is equal to k into l2 now we can compare both this equation now see we you have to remember that in the cell we have seen what is terminal potential difference the potential between the two terminals of a battery is the terminal potential difference and which is given by this equation terminal potential is equal to em of the battery minus potential drop across the internal cell so with this equation now first equation is the em of the, of the battery is equal to k into l1 and the terminal potential of the battery is equal to k into l2 this is when s is when s when s is s open s closed first after getting this null point we derive this equation dividing this equation by this equation this by this is equal to k by l1 into k by l2 is equal to l1 by l2 so that is we can say if em of the of the cell divided by its terminal potential is equal to length 1 by length 2 length 1 by length 2 so again now we have to find out the terminal potential difference what is terminal from here we can find out the expression for internal resistance that is internal resistance of the cell for which we are going to find out that is r is equal to when we bring it here e minus v divided by divided by i as it is we know what is the i flowing through this one we have seen i v is equal to i into r this is for terminal potential or v is equal to epsilon minus i into r this equation from here i is equal to v by r so we can write epsilon minus v divided by v by r or internal resistance is equal to e minus v into r divided by v which is equal to this divided by this minus 1 into r so r is equal to we have already derived this equation emf divided by terminal potential is equal to l1 divided by l2 minus 1 into r in deriving this equation you should not confuse when this is closed and this is open this is open the balancing point j1 the balancing point j1 gives the em of the battery so em of the battery so from which em of the battery is equal to the balancing length which is equal to k into l1 when this is closed this balancing length the balancing length l2 because it is balanced here when s is closed that gives the terminal potential terminal potential difference of the cell so with this we made this equation and divide both this equation we we get this relation we get dividing the both we get this relation and substituting in the equation in the equation we get the internal resistance of the cell is equal to l1 by l2 minus 1 enter the resistance where r stand for this this resistance